one of the things that we just discovered, which is uh, should make every American right now feel very insecure in this country, the largest tunnel ever found and the most sophisticated tunnel ever found was just now found. Nobody's reporting on this. We are breaking it uh, this week live. FBI, Homeland Security, and scientists from our federal agencies descended on this tunnel. It was supposedly accidentally found. It runs through a major area that is highly trafficked by Border Patrol. It runs through Mexico into the United States, goes through a residential community, takes a left-hand turn, and then ends at the a, a house, at the, the last house on the corner in this residential community. This tunnel has fiber optics, electricity, it has a rail system in it, it has fortified walls, ceilings. Uh, it, it is a very huge concern. And what I'd like to do is connect the dots on a couple things. Uh, when I see stuff like this from a, from a strategy perspective, militarily, I, I look at what, why would this be going on? And this tunnel is 25 feet under the ground. Looking at it, my uh, security team that travels with me and people with very special skill sets, they also understand how uh, mining works. And there is no way possible, in our opinion, looking at this, that our government, somebody did not know that this tunnel existed. So my question is, what are the scientists doing there? What is the FBI doing there? What are they trying to cover up? Um, mm. We know that Iran and Russia and the cartels are working hand in hand together. This is a fact. Um, Iran, a couple months well, ago, and China there was a story. too, right? Pardon? And and China too. Don't we know that China too? China as well. Well, China absolutely. So China controls right now Central South America and into Mexico. They control the trade routes. Uh, they're also getting ready to control huge portions of the Panama Panama Canal on both sides. Russia um, about nine months ago re-upped a. Uh, a with the Nicaraguan president to bring in more military presence under the disguise of training. Mm -hmm. There was a plane that landed. It took off from Iran, from Tehran. It landed in Cuba. Then it went to Mexico, picked up two passengers. Then it ended up in Venezuela, not just July, by the way. This is just recently. On that plane were, were senior officials in Iran uh, CUD forces, and if you don't know who CUD forces are, CUD forces are basically the equivalent to our Green Beret. And the individual okay. who was flying that plane was one of the head members of the Iranians' Revolutionary Guard. We've yeah. gotten intel that the Iranian Revolutionary Guard in Iran is working with the cartel. They have some training camps set up over in Central America and Mexico, and they are building a proxy army. My question yeah. is, there's numerous tunnels that were just found. We found another one near Naco, Arizona. And what are they bringing over into our 